Hello good day viewers. In this tutorial we are going to learn how to multiply matrices together. In our previous lesson remember we have talked about how to find the compatibility of multiplying two matrices together. So if you are new here consider subscribing, press the bell icon so that you will be notified whenever I upload a new content and don't forget to share to your learning colleagues. So now let us start. Suppose we want to multiply two matrices together. Matrix A that has elements 2 and 1. And another matrix B that has elements in this manner. 1, 0, 2, and 5. I told you order of matrices matters when it comes to multiplication because it is not always that you can multiply two matrices together. The order of this matrix is one by two. It means that this matrix has one row and two columns. While this other matrix is two by two, because it has two rows and two columns. To check for the compatibility, you need to consider the columns here from the first matrix because we want to multiply A by B. So we have to consider the columns in the first matrix and the rows from the second matrix. And the rows here you can see they are two. Two equal to two. The number of columns here and the rows here must be exactly the same before you carry out this multiplication. All right. One important of this order is that it determines the order of the result after multiplication. So after multiplying matrix A and B, the order of the result will be one by two matrix. We are going to obtain a matrix of dimension one by two. One here stands for the number of rows from the first matrix and two here is the number of columns from the second matrix. So you see this order has two advantages here one, it can help to determine whether the matrix can be multiplied. And secondly, it can determine uh, the order of the result after multiplication. Okay, so now the question is, how can we multiply these two matrices together? Since we know we are going to obtain a single row and two columns after multiplication. So, so it is going to be of the form let me let me call it a b one one a b one two this is going to be uh, the form of the matrix we are going to obtain to obtain this term here this element we are going to multiply the whole of this row by the whole of this column. That is first row, first column to obtain this one. And for this, we take the first row, already we already have a single row. We take the row and multiply by the second, uh, the second column to obtain A, B, one, two. That is uh, an element in the first row, second column. So let us begin A, B, will be equal to 2, 1 multiplied by 1, 0, 2, 5. This is equal to, we take the first element here, we multiply by the first element here. We have 2 multiplied by 1. Then we add we take the second element here, which is one. We multiply by the second element here at uh, two one, two one position. This is two one position. This is one one position. This is one one and one two. This is one two, this is two two. We take this, we multiply by this. We are done with a, B, 1, 1. We give a space 
because we only have two elements. We take this one again, two multiplied by this two, two multiplied by two, then plus one multiplied by five. We close and simplify to obtain our final answer. You know this time this is zero, this time this is two, so we only have two here. They will move to the next line. Uh, we have two times two is four, then one times five is five, so we have four plus five is nine. We have nine here. So you can see that the two, only two elements we have are two and nine, which is the result after multiplying a and b together so this is how to multiply matrices let us take further examples so first we have a matrix a as one minus two two and minus one this is a matrix of two by two and we have another matrix b of the same dimension maybe zero two five and three is also two by two. We want to multiply A and B together. First thing to check is for the compatibility. And uh, the number of columns here and the number of rows here, you can see they're exactly the same. And for the result, it is going to be of a dimension. You check for the number of rows here, which is two. Number of columns here, two. So we are going to obtain a matrix of two by two. So let's start. We have matrix A as one minus two, two minus one. We want to multiply that with that other matrix. Okay, this is going to be, I told you, because it is two by two, um, this is how it's partially going to be. To obtain the first element here at one one's position, we're going to take the first row here and multiply it with the first column here. We take one multiplied by zero, we add, we take two multiplied by five to obtain uh, an element here at one one position. So let's do that. We have one multiplied by zero, then we add, we take two, we multiply it by five. We are done with this. Then we give a space. We take the same row, multiply by the second column to obtain uh, one tooth position. So one times two plus two times three. and we are done here. Then to obtain this element here at two one position, we take the second row, multiply by the first column. We have negative two, multiply by zero, plus we have negative one, multiply by five. We give a space, we take the same row, second row, multiply by the second column to obtain uh, the two, two position element. We have negative one times two. Okay, it is negative two uh, times two. We add, then we take negative one times three. We can write it as three times negative one, all the same, commutative. All right, now let us simplify and obtain our final answer. This is zero, this is 10. 10 plus zero is 10, so we have 10 here. This is two because one times two is two. This is six, two times three is six. Six plus two is eight, so we have eight here. Coming down, we have, this is zero. And this is negative five. Negative five plus zero is negative five, so we have negative five here. Moving on here, this is negative four, we have negative four. 
and this is negative 3 all together we have negative 7 this is negative 7 and remember this is a b you can see that after multiplying these two matrices together we obtain another 2 by 2 matrix because I told you you can know the order of the result by considering the number of rows here and number of columns here which is 2 by 2 so we obtain another matrix 2 by 2 let us take the last one so first we have a matrix A as 2 1 0 3 4 0 5 suppose this is matrix A and we have another matrix B as 2 1 minus 1 um, 0 3 and 4 and we want to find A multiplied by B first thing we check for the compatibility the number of columns here you can see this is um, 2 by 3 matrix this is 3 by 2 matrix and the number of columns here you can see there are 3 number of rows here there are 3 so we can multiply it together and for the result the order is going to be of row here column here 2 by 2 so we are going to obtain a matrix of 2 by 2 so now let us get started we want to find a b which is going to be for a we have two one zero three zero five and for the second matrix we have two zero one three negative one and four As always, we take the first row here, we multiply by the first column. Remember, this is going to be two by two matrix. So it is going to be of the form AB11, AB12, AB21, AB22. So to find this element at one one position, we're going to take the first row here from the first matrix and multiply by the first column from the second matrix. So let's begin. Um, we say, okay, let me do it here. Two multiply by two, this two and this two. Then you take this second element here plus one multiplied by one, this one and this one, they must correspond. Then finally, this and this we have plus zero times negative one. Then you give a space, take the same row, multiply by the second column of 10, one tooth position. We have two multiply by zero, this row and this column second. We take one, you always add, you multiply by three, then lastly, you take zero, you multiply by four. Remember it is two by two. We have already obtained our two upper elements. Then for this element, you take the second row. You use the second row to multiply these two columns. We have used the first row to multiply these two columns. Now it's left for us to take the second row, multiply by the two columns. For this we have three, multiply by two, we add, we take zero, we multiply by one, we add, finally we take five, we multiply by negative one. We give a space, we take the same row and multiply by the second column. Three, multiply by zero, this zero, plus zero, multiply by three. Lastly, we have five, multiplied by 4. 
and we simplify to obtain our final answer. Finally, AB equals, um, let's do the work in here. This is four, this is one, this is zero. Four plus one is five plus zero is five, so we have five here. This is zero, two times zero. This is also zero, zero times four. This is the only element we have. One times three is three. Moving down here, this is zero. This is six, so we have six here. Five times negative one is negative five. Six minus five is one, so we have one here. Moving on here, this zero, zero, this is 20. So finally, this is what we have after multiplying uh, these two matrices together. We are able to obtain another new matrix of the dimension two by two. So this is how to multiply matrices together. As always, you use the first row to multiply all the columns in order to obtain the top elements. Use the second row to multiply all the columns together to obtain the second row elements. Even if they are more than this, you can still use the first row to multiply the third column and in that order. So this is all I have for you today. Thank you for watching. Do have a nice day.